Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and I'm back with another quick book recommendation for the Halloween season. This is Once Upon a Witch's Broom by Beatrice Blue. I believe this is part of a series, I think there might possibly be a Oh, there's a dragon, a unicorn and a mermaid one. And this book was really gorgeous and fun. It has beautiful illustrations. And I'm going to read you the blurb. It says, do you know how witches got their powers? It all began once upon a magical town wherein a little girl called Moira received a wondrous magic relic. But try as she might, she couldn't make her magic powers shine like her best friend Lily could. Her potions didn't sparkle, her spells fell flat and everything she did seemed to go wrong. Luckily, with a little help from her friend, Moira figured out a way to make the magic inside her soar. This is quite a long picture book and there is quite a bit of text in it, but it is a really gorgeous story that has a lot of beautiful friendship elements in here. And as the blurb says, Moira is getting her first magical relic. And when it doesn't work the way that she thinks it would, when it doesn't help her powers to grow, she gets really frustrated and down on herself. And she gets jealous of everyone else and her friend who seem to have it so much easier than she does. And of course, when we feel those emotions, a bit like Moira, we try and force the issue. And when that doesn't work, that just compounds the issue. And this book is really gorgeous because it identifies themes that young kids go through, like we don't always have to be the best at absolutely everything. Moira doesn't have to be the best at spell work and potions and flying and all of that. And if she keeps trying to force herself to be like that, she's just constantly feeling like she's not good enough and it makes it a struggle for her to find her magic. And I think what was really lovely is that as she begins to realize and takes a step back and is able to reflect on what on the positives and the strengths that she does have, she finds her magic and she finds that it comes more naturally when she's able to be kinder to herself. And as we see that, she begins to enjoy herself more. And so that continuously reinforces that message. I think there are also important themes in here around trusting yourself, recognizing that everyone has strengths, everyone is different and everyone is important no matter what your strengths are. I had a really great time reading this one. It was a lot of fun, it was really cute. And I am very interested in finding copies of the other books in the series because I always enjoy a good fantasy kids story. So I will leave links to where you can find out more information about this book below. If you've read it or you've read any of Beatrice Blue's other books, feel free to chat to me about them in the comments. If you just want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a broom emoji because the broom is Moira's relic. I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.